Hello and welcome. I am Deeksha Upadhyay and you're watching firstpost.com. One of the worst terror attacks in Sri Lankan history took place on the auspicious occasion of Easter on Sunday the 21st of April. Eight serial blasts ripped through locations including churches and five-star hotels across the country while congregations were taking part in Easter Sunday services. At least 310 people including Indians were killed and another hundreds were injured. 40 people have been arrested in connection with these attacks. And all these suicide bombers are Sri Lankan nationals. The cinnamon grand was hit at around 8:30 a.m. and soon after Shangri-La at around 9 o'clock. Hours later there were two more blasts, one of them at another Colombo hotel. World leaders including Narendra Modi, Imran Khan, Theresa May, Donald Trump, John Claude Juncker and Vladimir Putin have all condemned the attacks. Lankan officials say that all eight blasts were carried out by suicide bombers. Here is a look at the sites that were targeted in the blasts. St Anthony Shrine, this Roman Catholic church is located in the Colombo suburb of Kochi Kade. It traces its origin to the 18th century Dutch colonial rule. St Sebastian Church, this Roman Catholic church is located on the west coast of Lankan city of Negombo and its operation completed in the 1940s. Zion Church, this evangelical church is located in the eastern coastal city of Batikoloa and was founded in the 1970s. The Kingsbury Colombo Hotel. This hotel is located in Colombo city center and has 229 rooms. The Shangri-La Hotel. This hotel is located near Colombo's main business district and it has 500 guest rooms and suites and 41 service apartments. The Cinnamon Grand Colombo Hotel. located about a mile from Kingsbury in the bustling business district and boasts of 483 rooms and 18 suites the preliminary investigations have revealed that what happened in sri lanka on sunday was in retaliation for the attack against muslims in christ church today on the 23rd of april sri lankans grieve on the national day of mourning as the prime minister calls for unity